Question to rent or to buy. That's the question a lot of house hunters are asking after interest rates on homes seems to be on a steady climb. And it's something that's proving especially difficult for first time home buyers. Now, News 19's Mariah Wiggs joins us in the studio this evening. Now, Mariah, you talked with some new house hunters in the area. How are they feeling about the current market? Well, I have to tell you, young and ambitious adults are looking to settle in on forever homes in the Rocket City, but competing with experienced homeowners flooding the city and high interest rates makes it nearly impossible to compete in the market. So I've had to start over a few times just because there are people that come in with cash offers or have higher qualified loans and they can offer more on the table. So I've been knocked out a few times. It's tough not being able to get into our own space when I find something that I like and I feel like is suitable. Um, just because I can't necessarily always meet the price that other people can. First time home buyer Morgan Beletsky has been searching for a home for her and her son for the past six months, but current interest rates are making it pretty difficult. Over the past year, inflation and a constant flood of new residents have caused interest rates on homes to nearly triple. Home buyers in the Huntsville area can expect anywhere between five and six and a half percent interest after putting 20 percent down on a home. New competitors and experienced home buyers coming to the city are able to make offers above asking price, making it harder for local residents to compete. These numbers are causing a lot of hesitation for house hunters to sign the dotted line and instead rent. Renting a house versus renting an apartment is a lot more difficult. Um, houses are harder to find than apartments because you could turn a corner and find an apartment any day. The good news, these numbers mean the housing market is settling down. We're going to settle out in the fives for a while, but that's a good thing because it was something that was going to have to happen because it was the only way for the inventory to start coming back up and for buyers to be able to really be able to focus on buying a house and not panic every time they saw a house come on the market that it was going to be sold with 18 offers and they couldn't compete. With homes staying on the market longer, this gives prospective buyers time to search for that perfect home. Now, Holzer says it's important to not let these numbers scare you from buying a home, especially if you're a first time home buyer. The best piece of advice coming from realtors from two home buyers, home buyers is to know that your what your buying power is and do your homework before putting a bid on a house.